Many believers today speak the language of hell, abusive language, all manner of things. They use it to create a different world. Don't allow what you feel in your body to dictate what you say. Don't allow the environment you live to change you. Praise the Lord. When you are close to God, nothing will be possible to you. Sickness have no right over you. Marital problems have no right over you. But one thing you have to note is that always you must remember that someone died for you. This is our month of open heaven. How can our heaven be open? We are holding the word and we don't dance for the law. Many people's heaven are closed. Look at the message today. Look at the message. Very wonderful message. Very wonderful message. Hallelujah. That's a touching message. And if we can all adhere to it, our life is free. Because our attitude is our possession. Our confession is our possession. You cannot confess rich and be poor. No, it doesn't happen. You cannot confess health and be sick. No. Hallelujah. Many people come to the church and they look and they begin to... You cannot go to start gossiping about others and people not gossip about you. It's not possible. It's not possible. Hence, when they gossip about you or they take your name to all those necromancers, witch doctors, and they're doing evil against you, if only you can change your approach, your confession, your confession is your possession. If you begin from now to have a change of attitude, begin to confess positive, everything about you will change. Don't allow the circumstances to dictate for you. Don't allow what you feel in your body to dictate what you say. Don't allow the environment you live to change you. Praise the Lord. So you have to praise God at all times. And you have to pray at all times. That is why that song said, Into my lonely thunders are deny Denayo, it to Maloni Tanda, it to Maloni Dumisa, Denayo, Denayo, it to Maloni Dumisa. So when you sing the songs and you praise God and you pray, things will change. Yes, I know some of you are laughing at me because I didn't put it right, but you know it very well in your heart, right in your heart. So I want us to sing and dance. Then we go home and you see all the problem will be over. Look at that sister. She said, I was praising God. All of a sudden, I begin to feel heat in my hand. I begin to feel heat in my body. All of a sudden, again, I don't know what happened to me. I just find myself here. <laughs> I just find myself here. And I tell you, she's coming to testify. The father of the children, all the wrong and places he put his hands will be over. All those things that have been working against her will be over. Because the places they place her name, whereby she they are going doing all manner of things. Even herself, she's in Jobek, but she's not at peace. She's working the pin that she earned from where she's working. If I tell you the amount of money she earned every month, you'll be sure what she what comes to her. But she was too squeezy to go and give to the children. What does the man do? What does the man do? She takes care of the children. She fights to make sure the children are okay. And the man did not, cannot even appreciate her. Still say, I want to kill her. That she, he want to kill her. Kill her for what? What evil has she done? What evil has she committed? So this is the problem. The Lord forgive that man. Hallelujah. The Lord forgive him. The difference is what is happening is where they put hand. Is what they put hand on. But today is over. That bondage is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. And if, I mean, those who are going through what she's going through, you have equally been set free. Praise the Lord. You have equally been set free. You are taking care of your children. 
their father cannot help anywhere. You are the only one. You are the father. You are the mother. At the same time, the children upset you. A lot of things still happen. They can't even see what they are going through. They don't see through that eyes. Their father will give whenever he wants to give. When problem come, he doesn't even care. He don't even, he, he, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother him. Praise the Lord. So we need to forgive, please. I know many people are going through that challenge. And fathers who do not look after their children, please think twice. Think twice. We know mostly that children look after their, their mother. Yes, we know that. We know. We men, we know. <laughs> we men, we know. <laughs> Fathers are the bulldozers. They just go bulldozing, going. The children will look after their mother, but as for the father, we have to sacrifice. <laughs> we have to sacrifice. We have to sacrifice. Let's let's overlook. Hallelujah. We spent, even they will ask you to spend their last cent. <laughs> but as soon as they grow up, it's their mother. Everything is their mother. You don't blame them. <laughs> you don't blame them. But look at this woman now. She's the one looking after the children. The man is there doing whatever he wants to do. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It is over. It is over. The Lord has taken control. In that many people are going through that. I tell you the truth. People are going to stand on your feet. Stand on your feet quickly. Stand on your feet. Everyone stand on your feet. Take your Bible. Take your Bible. We need to do something very important. Say, Father, I hold thy word in my hand. Say, oh Lord, by your word, I stand today to confess because I know that no man goes above his confession. I therefore hold your word today in my hands to declare what the word said concerning me. Say, Father, if there is any way I have gone contrary to your word, today forgive me. I am holding thy word. Put it on your chest. Say, oh Lord, forgive me. Grant me the grace to act on your word. Grant me the grace to go on what your word said, not to go outside your word, to follow your word, to act your word, to do your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Say from this moment, whatever is contrary in my life, whatever is going against this word I'm holding in my hand, let it be corrected. Say, I stand to correct them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Holy Father, Holy Father, Holy Father, oh, Holy Father, let your word speak for me. Let your word speak for me. Let your word defend me. Let your word lead me. Let your word guide me. Let your word Guide me. Let your word lead me. Let your word lead me. Holy Father, by your mercy, let your word lead me. Let your word guide me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Say, Father, whatever I do words, I do or careless words that I might have spoken today, Father, Forgive me. Forgive me of those words, those idle words, those negative words that I might have spoken through anger, through unforgiveness, through offense. Father, forgive me. I am holding your word and I ask for your mercy. I ask for your mercy. Your word is truth as thou art truth. Thank you, Holy Father. Say from today, I will speak positive things, positive words. I will go along with your word all the days of my life. Say, Father, your word is truth, as thou art truth. Help me, O oh Lord, never to go against your word. 
never to go against your word. Never to go against your word. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Where my strength ends is where you begin in my life. Begin a new thing in my life. Every oath I might have swore, Father, for your word said, I must not swear by any oath according to Matthew chapter 5. From verse number 34 down to 36, I must not swear by anything, Father. Therefore, if I have sworn over my dead body, if I have sworn over anything today, I'm holding your word. Forgive me. Cleanse me. Purify me. Sanctify me by your word. Because your word is yourself. Thank you. Use the pressure blood of thy son Jesus Christ to wash me completely. completely. Wash away anger from me. Wash away every stain of the offense of the past in my life. Wash them away. As I'm holding your word, bless it in my chest, in my heart, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say from this day, I am a new person. From this moment, I am a new person. From this hour, I am a new person. My old me has passed away. I'm a new creature. I am a new creature. I am a new creature in the name of Jesus Christ. Say by your way, Lord, my life has changed. My situation changed in the name of Jesus Christ. I am a changed person. I am a person of God from today. I am a person of the Holy Trinity. The Father is in me. The Son is in me. The Holy Spirit is in me. I surrender myself in totality in the name of Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Father. Say thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that is in me. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Say, I am free. Declare your freedom. 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 For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for this great confession. But I have spoken your word. And your word have changed us. Your word have transferred us. It has transformed our situation, our circumstances. Oh, Holy Father, thank you for the message of today. Message of deliverance, message of healing, message of reconciliation. Father, our heaven shall continually be open. Our words can never, ever close our heaven. We shall walk in an open heaven all the days of our life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Holy Father, if there is any way through our words, through our utterances, we have closed our heaven. Father, today, by your word, we are holding our hand that place in our heart. Father, our heaven has been reopened. You have forgiven us. Remember your word in Second Chronicle. You say, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, confess their sin, and look up to you, you will forgive their sins, you will heal the land. And when the land is healed, the people dwelling therein is healed because the earth and its fullness are of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise. Father, we have come surrounded, surrender all to you today. Father, let your mercy and favors be for us. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, King of Glory. I cover every soul under the sound of my voice with the blood of Jesus Christ. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. And I hear the saints say, Amen. And amen. May you be seated a while. May you be seated. May you be seated. We have to go through the confession again. Confession. I do words are very dangerous. I do words. Careless words are very dangerous. Your tongue is under bondage because of the way you speak. Careless words you speak. Go about gossiping, saying all manner of things. And because of that, you're working under the influence of demonic powers. But today, as we hold the word of God, Bless on our heart, on our chest. We are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those careless words that have kept life from bondage in a cage have been broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Can I get a man from you? Hallelujah. Many heavens are, told, are caged because of that. I want us to read Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19. Verse number 16 and 17. You shall not go about as a tale bearer among your people, 
nor shall you take a stand against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall surely rebuke your neighbor and not bear sin because of him. You shall That's not... it. That's it. That's it. Just 16 and 17. A terbiara going up and down gossiping, saying no manner of things. You know, it's dangerous. It's a devil's workshop. It's a devil's workshop. So we must live life outside that. We must live a good life. Those are one of the things that close the heavens. Swearing also our Lord Jesus Christ in Fasad of Matthew chapter number 5. Verse 35. Can you read it please for us? Matthew chapter 5 verse 34 down to 36. I just have three scriptures to give us. So we make some confessions and draw power from above and nail every negative word to the cross. And that's it. Quickly. Matthew 5, 34 down to 36. But I say Are you to there? you, do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Nor shall you swear by your head, because you cannot make one hair white or black. But let your yes be yes, and your no, no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Thank you. That's it. Whatever is more than this is from the evil. Hallelujah. Do not swear. Do not say those things. Our Lord Jesus Christ emphasized on that. And if you look at that, Leviticus was from the Old Covenant. Old Commandment to our forefathers. And our Lord Jesus Christ came and emphasized on it. We must not do that. Those are things that close the heaven because these are the orders from above. These are orders from above. Praise the Lord. And those are things that cause problems to us. Psalm 106. Psalm 106. Our anchor scripture, 106 verse 32. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses on account of them, because they rebelled against his spirit, so that he spoke rashly with his lips. You hear that? He did what? He spoke rashly. He spoke what? Rashly. That's undecisively. With his lips. That's why the Bible says, provoke, Father, provoke not your children to wrath, to anger. Provoke them not to anger. Because that's one of the things that the devil used to steal our joy, to steal our happiness, to steal our blessings, to steal our gift, and thereby close the heaven. One began to suffer, go through challenges. Hence, our confession, Lord, help us. Help us. Many people are going through a lot of hardship, through hardship, strong hardship, strong problems, because the heaven is closed. Families' heavens are closed. And people began to run health as character. No help. When someone tries also to help you, that person will also be in bondage. That person will be trapped. Praise the Lord. So we have to be very, very careful. If you look at the scriptures that was given to us today, they were wonderful. Praise the Lord. The message is, the message is super. And if we can lean on that message, our life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Psalm, the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 19 said, In the multitude of words, there went not a sin, but he that refrained his lips is wise. He that refrained his lips is wise. So refrain your lips from speaking God. Proverbs 10 19, 
Change your way. Change your attitude. Allow God to rule your heart. Allow love to rule and reign in your heart. Praise the Lord. So we have to be very careful in what we do. The same thing applies to 1 Peter chapter 3. We look at verse number 10 of it. He said, if he, if he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and let his lips that they speak no girl. The lips must not speak girl. Refrain from evil. Refrain from evil. Refrain from negative word, negative language. Negative utterances. Hallelujah. Negative utterances. Apostle Paul emphasized on it. Negative utterances. In 1 Peter 1.10, 1 Peter 3. 10. So we have to be very careful in what we say. Many believers today speak the language of hell. Abusive language. All manner of things. They used to create a different world. They used to create a different world. Remember? You use a word to create your world. So people of God, today the Lord has forgiven us. Today the Lord has forgiven us. Go lying. What you know is not true. You begin to lie. You begin to speak about it. Swearing. Murmuring, gossiping. People of God, those are the things that close heavens. Those are things that make you want to walk in darkness. You claim to be a child of God, but you walk in darkness. You walk in the darkness instead of a child of the light. And the Bible says, You are the light of the world. You are the city that is built on top of the hill. You are the salt of the earth. He said, If the salt loses taste, it's worthless, should be thrown away. So throughout this month of open heaven, I mean, the remaining days of this month of open heaven, because we have run to half of it. Today is 31st. I mean, today is uh, 15th. Praise the Lord. Today is 15th. So please, people of God, let us refrain from those words. I know it angered a lot. I know it pains you when you remember, but let go of the face of the past. What you hear build you, and what you hear can destroy you. What you say can build you, and what you say can destroy you. Hence, try to mind their language. Mind what you say. Mind what you say. Praise the Lord. Mind what you say. Tell yourself, oh Lord, help me to mind what I say. Bless your hand on your chest. Say, Holy Father, I bow down before you. Help me this day to mind what I say. Help me this day to praise you. Help me this day to confess positive. Help me this day, Father, not to go contrary to your word. Help me to control my tongue. Because when my heart is controlled, my tongue is controlled. Even when my heart could not accept it, Father, grant me the grace never to speak it out. The grace never to say it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Can I hear you say amen and amen? Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet, stand on your feet, stand on your feet. Say, Father, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you for the grace to live above sin. Say, Father, I thank you for the grace to refrain from negative words. Negative utterances, negative confessions. Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Master, I thank you. Today I'm a new creature. My old me has passed away. I am born again. I am a person of Christ. I belong to the kingdom of God. I belong to the kingdom of God. I belong to the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ began his ministry by talking about the kingdom of God. Father, let my ministry begin today. As I talk about the kingdom of God, I will never talk about the kingdom of darkness because I'm a child of the day. I am not a child of the night. I am the light of the world. I am the salt of the earth. Help me, O oh Lord. 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 
Help me, Holy Father. Help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Help me to stand by my word, by my confession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. And I hear you say, Amen. I believe you have been blessed by this teaching series by Prophet Isaka. For more information, call us on plus 278-849-9397, plow 278-444-7002, 0114930531. God bless you.